Kabir, where are you? It's 1 a.m. in the night. Why would you be out? That too so often? This is the third party you are attending this week. Dad, can you please stop lecturing me on this? It's fine. I'm reaching. No, you're not. Send me your location. I'm coming to pick you up. Dad, my car can go soaring at 100 km per hour in the lone of the night. I'm a daredevil. I feel no pain. I'm built for driving cars under these dark clouds. No, Kabir, you're not going to do any of this. I'm coming to pick you up. Dad, just... Hello everyone, imagine this, a five-year-old clasping the hands of a father the first time she's going to cross the road in order to reach school. Her father tells her this, now you listen to me and you listen well. There are a million, million ways you can land up in hospital, getting hit by a car just because you chose not to look light then not to look left and then again to the right is going to be the saddest reason ever. You could have controlled it. You just chose not to. It was in your hands. You let it go. And 17 years later, she dies in a car crash. Just like the recording that we previously showed you. Kabir was reckless. Kabir chose not to listen to his father. Kabir's father begged him that he could come to the location, but Kabir made sure he didn't. Kabir died. The police came. The ambulance reached. Kabir couldn't be gained again. Imagine the pain. Imagine the aloofness his father might have suffered. You're nowhere. You're shattered. That's what happens if you are not safe on the road. Thus, the topic that we, I, Sartha Kojha and my friend Pratim Sarkar have made this project on today, this lovely documentary where we try to explain the views of Delhi Public School Siliguri at large about this topic which harnesses each and every victim in India who has suffered from this is something that we vouch out for you to understand. We, the students of Delhi Public School Siliguri, are here to take you into this documentary where we explain why road safety becomes necessary as an individual and as a community. We provide relevant statistics and we try to be the beacons of light. We try to be the guides that probably the nation wants in the youth right now. As a representative of the youth, I, Sardha Gojha, now lead you to the presentation that we have prepared on road safety. Thank you so much. So today we are going to talk about road safety. Done by Sardha Gojha and Pratim Sarkar of Delhi Public School, Siliguri. Statistics of road accidents in India. In India, one serious road accident in the country occurs every minute and 16 die on Indian roads every hour. 1,214 road crashes occur every day in India. Two-wheelers account for 25% of total road crash deaths. 20 children under the age of 14 die every day due to road crashes in the country. 377 people die every day, equivalent to a jumbo jet crashing every day. Two people die every hour in Uttar Pradesh, state with the maximum number of road crash deaths. Tamil Nadu is the state with the maximum number of road crash injuries. The next slide shows the top 10 most dangerous cities for road accidents. As you know, Chennai and Delhi, two of the metropolitan cities of India, are at the topmost point of the list. And Hyderabad is at the bottommost point of the list 
yet 2945 is not a small number right safety rules and regulations to follow for avoiding accidents let's see some of those first and foremost never drink and drive drink and drive is very common in india and it should be taken care of always wear seat belts keep a safe distance from the vehicle ahead always avoid distractions never break red signal always drive within the speed limit avoid the drowsiness while driving watch out for drivers on the road the next slide shows some signboards usually present on the road sides so usually we see these signs very often on the road sides but we tend to ignore them and this is one of the major reasons that such accidents occur every now and then on our streets so this brings us to the end of a short but very informative powerpoint presentation we hope that we could provide a great message to everyone through this documentary we would like to give a special thanks to our respected principal mrs anisha sharma and our respected economics teacher, Mr. Sandeep Mondal, for choosing us to work on such an amazing project.